Hello and welcome to Saturday Night Lounge, where we spend good time together and learn many things. Stay tuned and don't touch that dial because you are locked into Saturday Night Lounge. Welcome to Saturday Nightline. In today's episode, we will talk about the city of Las Vegas and enjoy our trip toward this lovely city. The Meadows, often known simply as Vegas, is the 25th most populous city in the United States, the most populous city in the state of Nevada, and the county seat of Clark County. The city anchors the Las Vegas Valley metropolitan area and is the largest city within the greater Mojave Desert. Las Vegas is an internationally renowned major resort city, known primarily for its gambling, shopping, fine dining, entertainment, and nightlife. The Las Vegas Valley as a whole serves as the leading financial, commercial, and cultural center for Nevada. The city bills itself as the entertainment capital of the world and is famous for its luxurious and extremely large casino hotels together with their associated activities. It is a top 3 destination in the United States for business conventions and a global leader in the hospitality industry, claiming more AAA 5 diamond hotels than any other city in the world. Today, Las Vegas annually ranks as one of the world's most visited tourist destinations. The city's tolerance for numerous forms of adult entertainment earned it the title of Sin City and has made Las Vegas a popular setting for literature, films, television programs, and music videos. Las Vegas was settled in 1905 and officially incorporated in 1911. At the close of the 20th century, it was the most populated North American city founded within that century. A similar distinction was earned by Chicago in the 19th century. Population growth has accelerated since the 1960s, and between 1990 and 2000 the population nearly doubled, increasing by 85.2%. Rapid growth has continued into the 21st century, and according to the United States Census Bureau, the city had 641,903 residents in 2020, with a metropolitan population of 2,227,053. As with most major metropolitan areas, the name of the primary city, Las Vegas in this case, is often used to describe areas beyond official city limits. In the case of Las Vegas, this especially applies to the areas on and near the Las Vegas Strip, which are actually located within the unincorporated communities of Paradise and Winchester. Nevada is the driest state, and Las Vegas is the driest major United States city. Over time and influenced by climate change, droughts in southern Nevada have been increasing in frequency and severity putting a further strain on Las Vegas water security. You must wonder, who was the first to discover this place and why? Hence it was nothing but desert, and why did they chose such place for residence? Nomadic Paleo-Indians traveled to the Las Vegas area 10,000 years ago, leaving behind petroglyphs. Ancient Puebloan and Paiute tribes followed at least 2,000 years ago. 
A young Mexican scout named Rafael Rivera is credited as the first non-Native American to encounter the valley in 1829. Trader Antonio Armijo led a 60-man party along the Spanish Trail to Los Angeles, California in 1829. In 1844, John C. Fremont arrived, and his writings helped lure pioneers to the area. Downtown Las Vegas's Fremont Street is named after him. Eleven years later, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints chose Las Vegas as the site to build a fort halfway between Salt Lake City and Los Angeles, where they would travel to gather supplies. The fort was abandoned several years afterward. The remainder of this old Mormon fort can still be seen at the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard and Washington Avenue. Las Vegas was founded as a city in 1905, when 110 acres of land adjacent to the Union Pacific Railroad tracks were auctioned in what would become the downtown area. In 1911, Las Vegas was incorporated as a city. Las Vegas is situated within Clark County, in a basin on the floor of the Mojave Desert, and is surrounded by mountain ranges on all sides. Much of the landscape is rocky and arid, with desert vegetation and wildlife. It can be subjected to torrential flash floods, although much has been done to mitigate the effects of flash floods through improved drainage systems. The peaks surrounding Las Vegas reach elevations of over 10,000 feet, and act as barriers to the strong flow of moisture from the surrounding area. The elevation is approximately 2,030 feet above sea level. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 135.86 square miles, of which 135.81 square miles is land and 0.05 square miles is water. The major attractions in Las Vegas are the casinos and the hotels, although in recent years other new attractions have begun to emerge. Most casinos in the downtown area are located on Fremont Street, with the Strat Hotel, Casino and Skypot as one of the few exceptions. Fremont East, adjacent to the Fremont Street experience, was granted variances to allow bars to be closer together, similar to the Gas Lamp Quarter of San Diego, the goal being to attract a different demographic than the Strip attracts. When the Mirage opened in 1989, it started a trend of major resort development on the Las Vegas Strip outside of the city. This resulted in a drop in tourism in the downtown area, but many recent projects have increased the number of visitors to downtown. An effort has been made by city officials to diversify the economy by attracting health-related, high-tech and other commercial interests. No state tax for individuals or corporations, as well as a lack of other forms of business-related taxes, have aided the success of these efforts. The Fremont Street experience was built in an effort to draw tourists back to the area and has been popular since its startup in 1995. The city purchased 61 acres of property from the Union Pacific Railroad in 1995 with the goal of creating a better draw for more people to the downtown area. In 2004, Las Vegas Mayor Oscar Goodman announced plans for Symphony Park, which could include a mixture of offerings, such as residential space and office buildings. Already operating in Symphony Park is the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health, opened in 2010, the Smith Center for the Performing Arts, opened in 2012, and the Discovery Children's Museum, opened in 2013. On land across from Symphony Park, the World Market Center Las Vegas opened in 2005. 
It currently encompasses three large buildings with a total of 5.1 million square feet. Trade shows for the furniture and furnishing industries are held there semi-annually. Also located nearby is the Las Vegas North Premium Outlets. With a second expansion, completed in May 2015, the mall currently offers 175 stores. City offices moved to a new Las Vegas City Hall in February 2013 on downtown's Main Street. The former City Hall building is now occupied by the corporate headquarters for the major online retailer, Zappos, which opened downtown in 2013. Zappos CEO Tony Shea took an interest in the urban area and contributed $350 million toward a revitalization effort called the Downtown Project. Projects funded include Las Vegas's first independent bookstore, The Writer's Block. On October 1, 2017, Stephen Paddock, a 64-year-old man from Mesquite, Nevada, opened fire on the crowd attending the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival on the Las Vegas Strip in Nevada. From his 32nd floor suites in the Mandalay Bay Hotel, he fired more than 1,000 bullets, killing 60 people and wounding at least 413. The ensuing panic brought the total number of injured to approximately 867. About an hour later, he was found dead in his room from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The motive for the mass shooting is officially undetermined. The incident is the deadliest mass shooting committed by an individual in United States history. It focused attention on firearms laws in the United States, particularly with regard to bump stocks, which Paddock used to fire shots in rapid succession, at a rate similar to that of automatic firearms. Bump stocks were banned by the United States Justice Department in December 2018, but the constitutionality of the ban remains under review as of 2023. But the Sin City continues to be one of the most important cities in the United States that is tempting a lot of tourists as well as a lot of investors. The Las Vegas Strip led the state in revenue last year with $8.28 billion, up 17% from last year's $7.96 billion. Don't bet against Las Vegas. Casinos across Nevada brought in $14.8 billion in gambling revenue in 2022, a new annual record. Just bear in mind, the Sin City always wins, and some people just can't handle Vegas. Thanks for watching this video guys, if you enjoy such videos we have more coming, so make sure to subscribe. See you in the next videos.